Yes, I'm a member of our local church, but I'm also a member of the universal church. And so when the Lord's body hurts at any point, I hurt. To me, at the beginning of COVID, that was one of the most terrifying things, was that even in states that didn't have mandates to shut down, most of the churches just shut down. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was telling, first of all, of the state of the church. And so I, I want to get back to a word you repeated about I don't know, 15 times during our first segment, which yeah. was discipleship. And I think that this was a failure before COVID to build up disciples who really truly understood the word so yes. that when this challenge came, they would be prepared to weather it properly. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think the church is currently doing in that task? And where do you think they're maybe missing the boat a little bit? Oh man, that's a good question. And, then, and let, let me say something I want to say as well, because I don't want this to be misunderstood. We did start meeting in my home and Addison's home for our local church, um, but we were in a building before the COVID fallout and all of that stuff happened. So I don't want right. to make it like that we weren't in the building before, but we were in the building before that and we continued to grow during that time period. Yeah. Uh, but uh, man, uh, to your to your question about where where the body of Christ is, and I say this because, yes, I'm a member of our local church, but I'm also a member of the universal church. And so, when the Lord's body hurts at any point, I hurt because I'm a member uh, of the Lord's body. Um, but unfortunately, in, in our nation in particular, um, the discipleship development ha has not been very has not been done very well. You know, we have studies like those produced by our brother George Barner and others indicating the lack of biblical worldview that many Christians have and unfortunately even pastors. Right. You know, and it, it is it is sobering and it is lament inducing. Um because there are lots of different factors that contribute to it, but the ultimate reality is that the church by and large has not produced disciples. And you underscored that reality uh, when COVID transpired and the lockdown responses to it, the church should have been able to stand up um, in mass and say, you know, Jesus is our Lord. We understand uh, the role that the state has to play. And we understand that God is the one who's established government and government is a minister of justice as God has, has established her to right. be. However, her purposes are to reward righteousness, not hinder righteousness, and to punish and restrain wickedness, um, and not to encroach upon the church's jurisdiction in dictating to us whether or not we obey God's commands and how we are to obey God's commands. Not doing so from a position of belligerence and hostility, but from a place of humility and resolve. Right. Say, you know, come with me, we'll, we will be found following the Lord Jesus Christ and having organizational structures as a church to fold very easily. And as well as the people who oftentimes used or, or saw COVID as an opportunity to do what was already in their hearts, which is refusing to gather with the Lord's saints. It's become kind of optional, almost like a buffet. You know, you go to a buffet, some things you want, some things you don't take a leave, what you don't want. But the touchstone of discipleship is obeying everything that God has commanded us Amen. to do. And so not having that present established prior to the response to uh, COVID, it revealed that lack of development in how many people found an opportunity to say, hey, you know, take it or leave it. Right. It's ironic to me that in describing that situation, you bring in Romans 13, mm. which defines the proper role of the, of the government, right? But if you remember during COVID, Romans 13 was the specific area of scripture that was being used to bludgeon the church into not meeting, right? Romans yeah. 13, you got to obey those earthly masters yeah. and obey yeah. those governing authorities. And yet you're saying, well, when you have a proper biblical understanding, mm -hmm. we can see that Romans 13 dictates that government is established to, to do good, right? And, yeah. and not to infringe on the rights of the church. This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.